So I, I also said that hyperbolic tan is odd, so I'll go through the same steps to prove that hyperbolic tan is odd, yeah? So let me use this space over here, okay? So let's prove that hyperbolic tan is odd. So same steps as we've seen, yeah? So in step number one, let f of x equal hyperbolic tan. So that is step number one. In step number two, remember for odd functions, start with the left hand side. So start with uh, um, f of minus x. And we need to prove and try and get minus f of x. So start with the left hand side. So let's start off with f of minus x. So let's refer to our definition. So going back to our definition of hyperbolic tan, it's e to the x minus e to the minus x over e to the x plus e to the minus x. And if we replace the x's in our definition with negative x's, we're gonna have e to the power minus x minus e to the minus of a minus x divided by e to the minus x plus e to the minus of a minus x. Okay, so. Now, if I multiply these brackets, let's get rid of the brackets, let's see what we're gonna end up with. So we're gonna end up with, okay, e to the power minus x minus e to the power. These two minuses will become a plus divided by e to the minus x plus e to the power and these two minuses also equate to a plus, okay? Now we're nearly there, we're nearly there. So remember, bear it in mind, for odd functions, we need to end up with uh, f of minus x being minus f of x, so we need to get that minus, yeah? So what we're gonna do is Let's take out a common factor of minus one from the numerator. So if I continue, if I take out a minus common factor, we're gonna end up with, so let's have a look, uh, e to the x minus, okay, e to the minus x, okay, uh, divided by e to the power, and let me, swap these terms so that's the same thing e to the x plus e to the minus x on the bottom so i just swap these terms over okay and if you cast your eyes to this function that i've highlighted in red that's a definition of hyperbolic tan so if you go to your definitions uh page Yep, so if I go to the definitions page of the notes, this is precisely what we have. That's the definition of hyperbolic tan. Yep. So in this case, let's say that is minus f of x. Okay. So that takes us to the last step, step number three, just to conclude. So since f of minus x equals minus f of x, therefore hyperbolic tan is odd. So that concludes the proof, okay?